Today, I'm going to show you how to create the Wide Eye Potion, also known as the Awakening Potion. The things we will need to create our potion is one glass bottle, and I am using a green bottle. I thought that would be a little different take on some of the potions we do, but you could use a clear glass one as well. A cup for mixing. A spoon for mixing. Some styling gel. I get mine at the dollar store. Whatever the cheapest is is the best, but I like it when it has these little bubbles in there. So that is a key that we're looking for in this one as well. Some green food coloring. You could use gel or regular. Some optional gray cording. A black hot glue stick and gun. A glass floral marble or bead. Um, these are the kind that you'd put as a filler in the bottom of a vase or a capuchon if you have those. A piping bag or a Ziploc bag with the corner slit off. A eye printed on regular paper or sticker paper, but I am printed mine on regular paper. Some Mod Podge. And our label printed on sticker paper, and the link for this is in the description down below. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to glue our eyeball to the back of the glass. And what it's going to end up doing is it's going to magnify our little eyeball, and it's going to give it more of a 3D effect. And as I said, if you have a capuchon, and, and I'm sure I'm botching the pronunciation of that, so please don't uh, hit me too hard in the comments. But if you have that, the back will be a little bit smoother, so you may get a better... Um, look of your eyeball, but at the same time, if you have these laying around, don't go out and buy something specific, or you can get a whole bag of these at the dollar store. So again, um, you know, with these potions, I try not to ever put anything in them that's going to be way too expensive. I want them to be affordable, and I want it to be things you could potentially use later. So I feel like everybody at some point uses these little glass beads, whether it's with a floral arrangement or outside making a stepping stone or whatever it may be. So um, anyway, I'm using the glass bead. So all we're going to do then is take our Mod Podge and we are going to completely cover our eyeball. And again, this dries clear, so don't freak out that it's going to ruin your image or anything like that. But we're just going to cover the eyeball. You don't have to put a crazy amount on there, just enough to cover it. And then we're going to take our little glass bead and we are going to place it on there. And you're going to press really good so then that way your glue is nice and flat and snug on the glass marble. And I'm going to pick this up just so you guys can kind of see what's going on here. So it is going to just glue onto the back of that. And then I'm just going to flip this over and I'm going to do a little coat of Mod Podge on the back and we're going to allow this to dry. So while our glass eyeball is drying, we're going to go ahead and finish the rest of our potion. So I have taken my piping bag and I have put it over my glass cup or container or whatever you want to stretch it over. I find a vase or a cup or um, I'm using a beaker. Anything like that works great. So um, I'm then going to take my clear styling gel. And I am going to put it right into the piping bag and cup. Okay, so once we have filled our piping bag with our gel, we're going to go ahead and add just a drop or two of the green food coloring because this potion is kind of bubbly like a carbonated beverage, and it's mostly clear with just a tiny tinge of green, so that's why I just want to add just a tiny bit. So as you can see, I just added a drop, and then we're just going to mix that together. So it will be green, but at the same time, it's not going to be a bright green. It's going to be more of a very light muted green that has those great bubbles. And when in our um, other green colored bottle, you'll still be able to see that there's a potion in there. I could have done the same color green food coloring because my gel food coloring is very similar to the color of our glass bottle. But I wanted you to be able to see that there was, you know, a slightly different colored potion in there, which is why I opted for the standard green food coloring. Okay, and as you can see, we got a really great light green color, and it's full of bubbles. So now that we have our potion mixed, we can just 
remove the piping bag from our container. And as you can see, it's already locked and loaded. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and take our glass bottle and uncork it. And then we're going to take some scissors, snip the end of our piping bag, and place it in our bottle. Now that our potion is filled, you can see that I didn't go all the way to the top and that was very purposeful. I wanted you to be able to see the contrast between the green glass bottle and our green potion because our eyeball has a couple different shades of green. I thought it would be nice to give that a uh, little nod in the bottle as well. So now that we have filled it to whatever level you want, you could fill yours all the way up or you can fill it halfway, however you wanna do it, but this was a good level for me. Then we're going to go ahead and just cork our bottle. And then we're gonna go ahead and embellish it with our label. Okay, so we are going to take our label that was printed on sticker paper. And again, you could use regular paper and Mod Podge if you'd like, but I just find this to be a much easier option. We're just going to take the backing off and we're going to place it on our bottle. And now that our label's on our bottle, we're gonna go ahead and add some cording to the top neck of our bottle. And now that that's wrapped, we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of a glue embellishment up here. And before we add our glue embellishment, our little eyeball is actually all dry. And as you can see, we got a really great 3D eyeball effect. And we're actually going to nestle that into the glue on the very top of the cork here. So it looks like we have an eyeball on the top of our jar. And once all of our glue has dried and we have our really great dripping effect, and again, this bottle had a really high stair step here before the cording. So if you need to, you can kind of help some of your drips as you saw that I did and um, just make sure that your glue is still hot. And if not, you can actually take a um, heat gun or a hair dryer and sometimes help your glue to kind of re um, melt in a sense. So then that way it will all melt together nicely. And then I really love the little eyeball detail on the top. And there you have it, our wide eye potion prop. This will be a great addition to our potion prop collection you're making along the way. And don't forget that your wide eye potion will help keep you awake while you're trying to study for your owls or can even be used as an antidote to draft of living death. If you guys like this video, give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And we will catch you guys later. Thanks so much.